All right, now Meta has introduced a brand new feature. They have integrated Meta AI within a chat on WhatsApp application. And you may be wondering how to use this feature. And you might also be concerned about the privacy policies with respect to this feature. In today's video, I will throw some light on this. I will let you know how you can use this feature. And I'll also tell you the privacy policies, whether you should be worried or not. So this video is going to be interesting. Keep watching. But before we go ahead, if you're interested in this beautiful looking wallpaper on the home screen, you can check it out on Volvo's application currently is available only on Android. We will introduce it on the iOS as well very soon. But for now, you can enjoy some beautiful looking wallpapers on Volvers on Android. So go ahead and check it out. The link for the app is in the description. And yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now let's go ahead. Here I'm using both the phones. We've got WhatsApp on Android and WhatsApp on iOS. And we have got this new feature on both versions of WhatsApp. Now we already have this AI button right here. You can see this is the Meta AI. We can tap on that to start conversating with AI. We can ask questions, we can seek information. This is kind of similar to Gemini or ChatGPT. While chatting with someone, if you want some quick information, you can just tap on this Meta AI button, get the information, get the answers for your queries, and you can paste them right here inside the chat. Now the same Meta AI has been integrated within a chat. Let me show you that. Let me open a specific chat over here. Now to activate Meta AI within the application, all you need to do is just tap on the text box and key in at. And now you can see Meta AI pops up right there. Even on the iOS, it's the same process. I'll open the chat here and key in at. You can see Meta AI pops up right here. Just tap on that to talk to Meta. So what does this do? Can we talk about the messages which were uh, sent, the conversation that we had with a specific person or in the group? No, we cannot do that. It doesn't read any contents on the chat and answer our questions. For example, if I say summarize my messages and send it, so it says you haven't sent any messages yet. So there is nothing to summarize. Let's get started. What's on your mind? So it will only summarize the chat that you have with Meta AI, not the conversation that you had with a specific contact. Now here it says only messages that mention or people share with Meta AI can be read by Meta. Meta can't read any other messages in this chat as your personal messages remain end to end encrypted. So this clearly says the messages are end to end encrypted and Meta AI is not going to get access to the messages within a chat. Meta can't read any other messages except for the ones that you generate from AI. Now, another example here is you can see I have asked, can you read the messages with Sandhya and tell me if there is any message regarding payments? It says there is no conversation with Sandhya. We have only been talking about you applying for a passport and a couple of other things in this current convo. Since there is no convo with Sandhya, there is no message regarding payments with her. So it is not trying to read the messages from outside of this chat with Meta AI. Now, if I ask something about the chat that I had with Meta AI, it will display that uh, display the results here. Let me just show you here. I have discussed about uh, passport related questions. So let me just ask Meta to summarize what uh, the discussion that I had with it. Summarize today's conversation. I'll just send it. Now, here we go. We have got a conversation which I had with Meta today. Uh, here's today's convo summary. You asked how to apply for a passport. I gave you these steps for applying in India. You asked me to summarize yesterday's convo. I said there wasn't, uh, there wasn't one. You asked me to summarize last month's convo. So all this are related to the chat that I had with Meta AI not the chats which are available within this contact. So that is how this whole feature works. And if you're still worried about the privacy here, thinking that the Meta AI is within the chat and you may not want to have this, in that case, you can go ahead and disable this AI feature within a chat or a group chat. All you need to do is just tap on the contact and scroll down, you will see advanced chat privacy. Tap on that. Now here it says, limit how messages and media from this chat can be shared outside of WhatsApp. If you enable this feature, you cannot save media to their device gallery automatically. So any uh, media that you get uh, on a chat will not get downloaded on the phone. It will not get saved on the phone. You might want to keep this in mind while enabling this feature. It says can't use AI features like mentioning at meta AI or summarizing 100 messages. Now the thing is it does talk about summarizing 100 messages, but I do not see that feature yet on meta. And I don't think they will uh, enable meta to summarize the 100 messages and if that happens the privacy is going to be an issue so you can go ahead and enable this particular toggle if you want to but just keep in mind you cannot save media on the devices gallery automatically and it's pretty simple it'll get activated only when you type at and then select meta ai that is when it gets activated and is it really useful 
I would say yes, it is useful because let's say uh, quickly you want to talk to uh, the AI assistant to get some information or if you have some queries, then you don't really have to go back and then tap on the Meta AI button or uh, go back to Gemini or ChatGPT. While you're inside the chat, you can ask the questions. For example, let's say I'll just activate Meta AI and ask which is the tallest building. There we go, we have got the answer right here. So you can seek information, you can chat with the AI and you can get the answers right here. You can also see some of the websites which have popped up right here. You can tap on those websites and directly enter into the browser. So this is how you can use Meta AI within a chat and it is actually useful. And frankly, I'm not that bothered about the privacy here. At the most, they will use the information for some customized advertisements. Like for example, you're talking about something to buy and you're asking some questions about the product on Meta AI. The AI will know what are you talking about, what is your requirement and all that. So those uh, information may be shared with Meta, but not the chat that you're going to have with somebody on WhatsApp. Now, this is something which I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what do you think about this feature? Would you prefer disabling Meta within a chat or do you prefer using it? Drop a comment. Now, by the way, this feature is available both inside a single individual chat as well as group chats. If you want to activate it, all you need to do is just key in at the rate symbol within the chat and talk to Meta. That's about it. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you want to stay updated with everything that's happening with your phone, the new features, tips and tricks, updates, etc. Go ahead, subscribe, become a part of Apex community and give this video a like if you find this video informative. And do not forget to download our wallpaper application Wallverse. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.